the tornado, so do the other tornado. Let's twist again like we did last summer. What do clouds wear on their hair? I don't know. Rain bones. <laughs> that looks nice on you. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when the snow woman got angry at the snowman? She gave him the cold shoulder. Hey, Skylar. What? What does a cloud wear under its clothes? Um, I don't know. What? Thunderwear! <laughs> Boom goes the underwear. What do you get if you cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite! <laughs> Snowflakes form when water vapor freezes high up in the atmosphere. Every snowflake is made up of about 200 tiny ice crystals. Snowflakes can fall from the sky at 3 or 4 miles per hour. All snowflakes form into a hexagon, a shape with six sides. The largest snowflake ever recorded was 15 inches across. Pretty cool, huh? Make it! Today we are going to make an autumn garland. Cool! Wow! I like all the little vegetables. So the cool. materials we have are tissue paper, glue, yarn, construction paper, hole puncher, scissors, and pencils. So first what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the piece of construction papers in circles big enough to fit the vegetables and fruits on there. Next, we do the outline of our fruits and vegetables. So, what do we do next? We take a piece of tissue paper, crumble it up, and dip it and some glue. And then we put it on our outline. And then it will look like this. Can I have some glue, please? Yes. Halloween, I put on like orange and black for like a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, like a, it scares up like a pumpkin. <laughs> You're doing a pretty good job. Thank you. I'm done. Oh, that's I'm so cool. cool. Now I just need to put the string on. I think I'm ready to put the string on too. I need to make it on the side. How much string do we need? Well, I guess really long string. <laughs> um, how's this? That song. When you put it on, you're gonna wanna, wanna tie a string like this. It's like tying your shoe, but you're going like this. Yeah. And then you just pull. Oh. And then, yep. so we switch sides, and then you hold the middle. And now we have our garland. It looks That's nice. Awesome. Can you figure out who I am? My career takes me to many different cities and sometimes other countries. I have to learn navigation and know all about longitude and latitude. I use radio communication every day. I know about weather and sometimes I can't do my job if the weather is bad. I can usually be found above the clouds. Who am I? A pilot! Brain play! Squish, squish, squish. Name some things that make that sound. A puddle of water when you step in it. Sponges. Pudding. It could be puddles. A bag of water when you squeeze it. Or it could be like smashing dough. A rubber ball when you step on it. Uh, rubber boots if they're wet. Mud. I guess your hair if it's really wet and you're scrunching it up. Your shoes sometimes when the floor is wet. Muddles, mud puddles. <laughs> Up to 70% of an adult's body is made up of water. 
Our planet Earth contains about 326 million cubic miles of water and covers 70% of the Earth's surface. Jellyfish and cucumbers are both 95% water. Most of the fresh water on Earth is stored in glaciers, ice caps, and permanent snow. Hot water can freeze faster than cold water. Pretty cool, huh? Make it! Today we're gonna make summer salsa. We're gonna need green onions, celery, olives, tomatoes, white corn, honey, and Italian salad dressing. First, we're going to take our bowl and um, add our white corn. So we're gonna chop up, chop up tomatoes, green onion, and celery. Let's cut them into small bites. How does mine look? Looks good, but I think you should Maybe cut them into small. smaller pieces. Yeah, this one is big. No, this is fun. Okay, so now we're gonna put our chopped vegetables into the bowl. It smells so good. I agree. Then we'll do some. A little bit more onions. celery. And the rest. Here, not yeah. too much though. That's good. That's good. Okay, now we're going to add a tablespoon of honey. Is that enough? Um, yeah. Bit. Honey, I love honey. Drizzle this on top. It's gonna come out fast. Don't put too much. Okay, that's good, that's good. Mmm, this, this looks so good. I know, good I wanna already. eat it already. Okay. Let's have some Get tortilla some. chips. Okay. Oh, just put, put that, that right, right there. there. Okay, tell us how it is. Okay, I'm only having a little bite. Hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. What do you call it when your dog sheds all over your couch? A hurricane. What are the solar system's three favorite days of the week? Saturn Day? Sunday and Moon Day. Why can Bigfoot read all the symbols on a map? Because he's a legend. Get it? A map legend? <laughs> Why do opera singers make good sailors? Because they know how to handle high seas. Ah! <laughs> what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dinosnorus. Brain play. If you were a cat, would you rather live inside or outside? Why? I would rather live inside a home. I live inside because you have more things to eat and you can watch TV. Inside. Because it's safer. You would get all the food you need? Inside, because when it's raining, I wouldn't get my fur wet. Can you figure out who I am? I work in some of the coldest temperatures in the world. Burn. My coworkers and I dress in lots of layers. Where I work, some days the sun never sets, and other days the sun never rises. I have a thirst for adventure, but I must know wilderness survival skills, and I'm always prepared for anything with my backpack full of equipment. Occasionally, I get to work closely with rare wildlife. Who am I? Polar Explorer. The sun is actually a star. It is the largest object in our solar system and makes up 99.8% of the total mass. The sun is 4.6 billion years old. One million Earths can fit inside the sun. The sun's core temperature is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's hot. 
The sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. Because it's so far, it takes eight minutes for the sun's light to reach the Earth. Pretty cool, huh? Make it! Today we're gonna make a snowy fruit salad. We have pineapple chunks, mandarin oranges, kiwi, banana, shredded coconut, and lettuce. First, we're gonna put the mandarin oranges and the pineapple in the bowl. Next, I'll cut up the banana. Mmm, small. Small and skinny. And I'll cut up the kiwi. Do you think we should cut them into quarters? Yeah. Now we pour everything into the bowl. Let's pour it in there. Okay, now we have to stir. Does this look good? It looks ready. I'll pass out the plates. And the lettuce. And here we go. This looks really tasty. It does. Yes, it does. And last, we will add snowflakes. Coconut snowflakes. Looks good. Well, let's eat. Mmm, -hmm. the banana is good. The pineapple is really good. Mmm, the kiwi is good. Mm -hmm. This is one tasty salad. Mm -hmm.